आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ The question is a particle is projected in air at an angle beta to a surface which itself is inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal find expression for range on the plane surface that is distance on the plane from the point of projection at which particle will hit the surface time of flight and beta at which range will be maximum so we have to calculate this distance that is op at which the particle hits from the point of projection this point o is the point of projection its initial velocity is v not so it will have two components one in the x direction that is v not cos beta and in this direction it will be v not sin beta okay now acceleration due to gravity will always be there so that acts downward so if this is g it will have this is alpha this is alpha so this this will also be alpha it will be g cos alpha and from here we have g sin alpha we are taking downward directions as negative so it would be minus g cos alpha and we are taking left directions like there those are going left as negative so it will be Minus g sine alpha. Okay, got it. So now let's do the calculation part. First, let's calculate the time that it takes from point O to point P. Let's say that time is t. Okay. So motion is also along motion along. Let's first calculate motion along vertical upward direction. Okay, vertical. upward as i said upward directions will be taken positive and downward as negative so motion along vertical upward direction will be for the journey o to p it will be uh y is equal to u y t plus half of a y t square right Initially, y is zero because it's here. Height is zero, so it's zero. U y t plus half of a y t square. Okay, so as it is zero, u y is initial velocity along y is v not sine beta into t plus half of a y is as I said minus g cos alpha into t square. Okay. From here we'll get v not sine beta into t is equal to minus g cos alpha by two into t square t and t goes. So we are left with t is equal to v not two v not sine beta by g cos alpha. Okay, this is the time of oh, this is the time we got that it takes to reach from point O to point P. Okay, now. As initially time will be zero, right? As time t is equal to zero, corresponding to point O. Hence, time of flight, time of flight, will be given by t. That is, two v naught sine beta by cos alpha. At this, so this is the time of flight. Okay. Now let's look at the motion along O X, O X. That means horizontal motion. Let's look at that now. So, considering motion along O X, X is equal to L. That is given. Horizontal distance is L, and and V X is equal to V naught cos beta. That is initial. Velocity in the x direction and a x is equal to minus g sine alpha. Okay, and now from here we can calculate t. I mean we already know t. We can from here we can calculate x x horizontal range that is l. Okay, so um, t is given to be two v naught sine 
beta y we found it right we did and x that is horizontal that um, distance that is represented by l in this question is equal to v naught cos beta t plus half of minus g sine alpha again the same procedure so we can write v naught cos beta t minus half of g sine alpha t square agreed and now we can write l is equal to 2 v naught square sine beta divided by g cos square alpha cos alpha plus beta this is the value we'll get after solving this equation by putting the value of t from here in this equation this is what we'll get so this is our l okay but the question is asking us uh c part is what would be the value of beta at which range will be maximum so for range l to be maximum to be maximum z is equal to sine beta to cos alpha plus beta let's suppose z is equal to sine beta into cos alpha plus beta so we're not taking this thing into consideration but these two terms right sine beta into cos alpha plus beta okay so let's see because uh, cos alpha that is the alpha is the inclination angle at which this plane surface is inclined that will always be constant but we have to calculate the maximum range and beta is the angle that we have to like it should be our it, it is up to us like how we'll project a particle it is up to us what that angle would be and if we want range to be maximum we have to project it in a way that beta is like um, beta is something and we get the horizontal range as maximum so this thing is variable but this thing is constant so we can write sine beta using cos alpha plus cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b okay this is the identity and after this we can write multiplying sine beta inside so we'll get 1 by 2 cos alpha sine 2 beta minus 2 sine alpha sine square beta how i'll tell you see when we multiply it by sine beta it will be cos alpha sine beta cos beta minus sine alpha sine square beta okay this thing but cos a and sine a is equal to sine 2a by 2 so taking 1 by 2 common here we are left with nothing but sine 2b 2 beta minus twice because here we had no 2 in the beginning but after taking 2 common we'll have to multiply it with 2 okay now 1 by 2 sine 2 beta cos alpha minus sine alpha and also this that is twice sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x right this is also an identity so we'll be left with z is equal to 1 by 2 sine 2 beta cos alpha plus cos 2 beta like multi uh, removing these brackets and sine alpha minus sine alpha multiplying with sine alpha okay so z is equal to 1 by 2 sine 2 beta plus alpha minus sine this is again an identity that is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b is equal to sine a plus b so for z to be maximum sine 2 this is constant sine 2 beta plus alpha should be 1 and when is sine 1 
when angle is 90. Let's suppose it's 90. Yeah, it is 1 at many other angles. But here, we'll suppose it is 1 at 90. So we can write 2 beta plus alpha is equal to pi by 2. Or beta is equal to pi by 4 minus alpha by 2. At this angle, if we project our what we have a particle if we project our particle at an angle of pi by 4 minus alpha by 2 then our range will be maximum okay thank you class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400 400